they went back through the little door for one last stand against the other mother. Coraline proposed a game. If she could find her parents and the ghost children's eyes, then she would win and they would all be set free. If Coraline couldn't find them, then she would be the other mother's daughter forever. The other mother agreed to the game with a malicious smile. The other father kept chasing Coraline against his will. Fortunately for Coraline, the tractor smashed a hole in the bridge and fell through it. The other father managed to resist control for one final act. He threw the ghost eye to Coraline as he fell into the water. Coraline caught her breath and decided where to look for the other two ghost eyes.
So she lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play? Don't go through the door. So she lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play? Beware of the bell dam. Beware of the bell dam.
Coraline reached deep into the taffy creature that bore little resemblance to young Miss Spink and Miss Forcible that so delighted the canine crowd just a day earlier. She opened the hands and found the second ghost eye. Unfortunately, she was going to have to fight for it. Coraline didn't have a problem with that at all. All she needed was a little help and a bit of timing. The second ghost eye in hand, Coraline had one more move to make. So she lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play. So she lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play. So she lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play. Don't go through the door. So she lured us away with treasures and treats and games to play.
Caroline was devastated. She had let the rat get away with the third ghost eye. Once again, a friend with a very strong distaste for rats came to the rescue. The third ghost eye was soon in hand. With the world unraveling around them, their final destination beckoned, and a final confrontation with the Beldum was at hand. Coraline entered the living room and searched for a sign of her parents. Instead, she found the other mother waiting expectantly. With a sickening grin, the Beldum reminded Coraline there was still one condition of the game to be met. Coraline realized where her parents were, and in a moment of questionable judgment, Coraline made a bold and quite unexpected attack.
Charlie and Mel dusted the snow off themselves, and Coraline ran to them. They soon had a terrific dinner to celebrate their reunion. Later that night, with her world back in order, Coraline's real mother and father tucked her into bed. Coraline apologized to her late-night visitor for her rashness and lack of consideration for others, though it did turn out to be the right thing to do. Then they decided that it was time to release the ghost children. Coraline put the eyes of the ghost children under her pillow, and the two of them fell fast asleep.